comment about your interest in, in metaphysics. Uh, is that something that uh, has always been, that you've always been conscious of? Uh, is that something that you reflect on now, given your body of work that you realize was was, was part of of you know, your your focus? Did you did you study it, uh, read up on, on metaphysics, or was it just a part of your DNA? And if so, why? Well, I've always had a very active imagination. And as a child, my mother said that I was very clairvoyant, that I would know what was going to happen. And I had an imaginary friend uh, that lived in, I lived in a part of L.A. that had a barn because that, that was converted to a garage, and that's where my spirit lived. So I, it all just seemed really natural, and my mother never discouraged me from having imaginary friends or whatever, like many children do. But now that I look back, I feel that was my connection to the spirit world. But I've always been really interested in um, just the diagrams and the charts and the things like that. Um, when my father passed, uh, somehow I felt that that was wrong. And something anyway, I lost that again, except that I'm strongly intuitive now. I can always sense where there's danger uh, and who good people are and who people who we should just move away from. Um, also, in the 1960s in Los Angeles, we had the skipping room. And so there were lots of materials that came out about metaphysical things. Before, they were not really printed because of the strong religious feeling about people and what they put in and so forth. But that's still an important part. It's not something that I have to live every minute of the day for. But it just helps calm feelings uh, into intuition. Is that it? It does, it does. Um, quickly, the reason, the part of the reason for, for that question, I was surprised to hear that. Uh, but I, I met, I was then going to ask about your con contemporaries and whether or not you, um, there were others of, of your era who also had, had that same interest or that you were aware of if you, if you talked about it and to that stuff. No, but I have several friends who are psychic. Okay. Yeah, now as an adult, you know, but it just, um, if you're a child and you're a psychic, it's sort of hard for you because your parents are always trying to make force you to be normal. <laughs> and and then school, it's, uh, the friends that I have have all ex expressed how hard it was for them to be uh, intuitive, extra intuitive as children. Just finally, I, I spoke, I gave a talk yesterday on Mildred Thompson, which is, who is the name you, you, you may recognize. She passed in 2003, but she was an artist, and uh, it turns out that uh, much of, of her work was based on you know, on, on metaphysics. She would have been a little younger than you, yeah. but somewhat a, a contemporary. Yeah. Did you know that name? Mildred, Mildred Thompson. Thompson. Mm -hmm. Did you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. She's, she's East Coast? East Coast. East Coast. Howard. Howard University. Like, East. You recognize her? I'm going to 